Hello everyone, my name is Steve, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, it is my pleasure to walk you through this video on how to quickly and easily set up your revenue online access for a business tax account. You can pause and rewind this video at any time to review the information provided. Let's go ahead and get started. The Colorado Department of Revenue aims to make complex tax information easier to understand. The information provided in this presentation will only address how to set up your revenue online access for a business tax account. Revenue Online is an administration portal that you can use to make a payment, file a return, check the status of your refund, and much more. Once you've applied for a sales, use, or withholding tax license in Colorado, you'll have the ability to set up access to Revenue Online. To set up your Revenue Online access, you first need to register. Go to colorado.gov forward slash Revenue Online, then click Sign Up under Don't Have a Username in the Login box on the homepage. For security reasons, we will require some specific information from you in order to set up your access and revenue online. So please make sure you have the following information with you before you continue. Let's take a quick look at what you'll need. In order to be eligible, you must have filed a tax return in Colorado or applied for a sales, use, or withholding license in Colorado, and you must have an email address. You must have one of the following numbers, your social security number, your Colorado account number or CAN, your individual taxpayer identification number or ITIN, or your federal employer identification number or FEIN. You will also need to have the letter ID located on your tax license. Once you've verified you have all the information necessary to continue, click next. On the Let's Begin to Create Your Account screen, you'll need to enter the information necessary to create your revenue online access. Any information identified with a red asterisk is required. Let's take a look at how to complete this section. Click the drop down arrow next to Tax Type, select the type of business tax account you wish to create from the drop down menu, and enter the information. In this example, we selected sales tax as shown here. Next, you'll enter your ID type. Click the drop down arrow next to ID. Select the ID type you wish to use to set up your revenue online access from the drop down menu and enter the information. Options include your Colorado account number or CAN, federal employer identification number or FEIN, individual taxpayer identification number. ITIN, or your Social Security number. Available ID types will vary based on the tax type selected. In this example, we've selected Colorado account number as the ID type, as shown here. Your Colorado account number can be found in the upper left corner of your tax license in the Use Account Number box and consists of the first eight numbers. Next, you'll enter and confirm your email address. Enter and confirm your email address. An email address is required in order to be eligible to set up your revenue online access. Confirm your country, enter your 10 digit phone number, and enter your zip code. You'll now need to enter your Colorado account number or CAN with your branch ID. As mentioned earlier, your Colorado account number can be found in the upper left corner of your tax license in the Use Account Number box. The first eight numbers are your account number, and the last four numbers after the dash are your branch ID, as shown here. Next, you'll enter your verification type. Now choose your verification type. Click the drop-down arrow next to Choose a Verification Type. Select the verification type you wish to use to set up your revenue online access from the drop down menu and enter the information. Verification types will vary based on the tax type selected. In this example, we've selected recent letter ID. You can easily locate your letter ID on your tax license as shown here. 
Once you've entered all the required information to set up your revenue online access, click Next. Now you'll create the username, password, and secret question you'll use to access your account. Make sure your password is eight characters or more, contains both numbers and letters, uses both upper and lowercase letters, and doesn't match or contain your username. Once you've entered and confirmed your information, click Next. Review the information you entered. You can click the Previous button to make changes, or click the Submit button to finish registering. The confirmation message tells you that once you click OK, your request for a username will be submitted to the Department of Revenue and to ensure that all the information you entered is correct before continuing. A confirmation will be sent to your email address once your request has been received. Simply click OK. You will receive an email with your registration reference number. Please use this number when contacting us for Revenue Online Login Assistance. You also have the option to print a copy of your registration for your records. As a reminder, there are many resources available to you through the Colorado Department of Revenue. Please keep these resources in mind if you find you need additional support. My name is Steve, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, Taxation Division, Education and Training, thank you for watching this video. The Colorado Department of Revenue is always here to help you be voluntarily tax compliant through information, education, assistance, and customer service.